Hello everyone and welcome back to Dropped Frames. We're joined now by Hassan from Twitch. Hassan, how's it going, ma'am? Great, thank you for having me, sirs. <laughs> what was that robotic, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I asked him, is he like by the ocean? Like, <sighs> I think it's just your headset. Oh, it's probably my headset, sorry. Yeah, no, oh, okay. it's no problem, it's no problem. Uh, so what's going on in Twitch land, man? How you doing? Uh, great. Nothing's really going on. I was just doing some work. You contacted me yesterday. I was like, oh, I guess, sure, why not? You can talk talk to me about some inner workings of Twitch and uh, what I do day to day and anything I can answer for you. Yeah, that's kind of how we run Drop Frames. It's literally like, guys, it's Tuesday. We don't have a guess. What the fuck? It's all good, man. Ask this guy. So, yeah, I guess that's good. That's good. Yeah, I was like, hey. Nah, nah, uh, Hassan, don't, <laughs> let him, don't let him treat you like that. Don't let him treat you like that. Hey, what? No, 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 no. I'm not saying the quality of our guest goes down. I'm saying that we're unprepared as fuck. And then on Tuesday, we figure out who the guest's going to be. Well, um, not necessarily. We, real quick, we ask I think people. I think we need to say this point. Actually, JP coordinates guests, so JP is unprepared <laughs> as shit. Not drop frames in general. Probably uh, I see, true. I see that JP was also trying to get your uh, channel shut down by showing some videos you might possibly get sued for, you know. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's that's how it works here. They want We wanted to do it on other channels, and that, they just thought it was out of goodwill. But no, I, it's actually so I could shut their shit down, and it's then nice. everyone moves over to my channel. All of your shit. <laughs> that's how it's going to go. Grandmaster plan. That's how it's going to go. So I think the, the best thing to start off with is uh, what is your actual title at Twitch, and uh, what does that kind of translate into the day-to-day? Uh, for okay, you. so my actual title is customer service specialist, and mostly I deal with partner broadcasters. Um, that's that's like my exclusive like role. Uh, and what was the other part of the question that you asked? What's like your day to day? Like this morning, you walked into work. What do you do? Okay, so my day to day. First thing that I do is I look at our partner queue, and it's usually somewhere around like fifty to sixty new emails each day, which is like normal. And for the most part, it's like, you know, hey, I have some problems with this or that, or I want to remove this emote, I want to add this one, or, you know, I haven't been paid in a while, I want to find out when I'm going to get paid, stuff like that. Or I want to create a team page. I basically handle all that stuff. So um, when people, like, like uh, um, you, you handle, like, all the complaints, questions, that kind of stuff from... Yeah. From partners. Yeah. From partners. Yeah. From, partners. Okay. Partner, from partner broadcasters, correct. Okay. Non-partner broadcasters are just like subhuman trash. You don't even. Don't <laughs> no, no, it's just that, that's in a different. So we use this um, ticketing system called Desk, and they have different folders. So I'm in charge of our partner folder, and then we have a lot of other people uh, in our company that deal with the general support queue. Okay, so they're in charge of like taking the folders and putting them yeah. in the recycle bin. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure. <laughs> just keep the recycle bin. Yeah. <laughs> So. Uh, what what is like a busy day? Like, what is a day you come in and you see? You said sixty is like normal. Yeah, sixty is like normal. So a busy day would be like around when it's like payday. So like around the fifteenth of this month, like May fifteenth, uh, when partners are usually due to get paid. There's a lot of like you know, I guess we we don't do a really good job of telling people you know yeah we're located in San Francisco, but there's some sort of common sense involved as well. So obviously people in like Europe or other countries where it's like hey it's a fifteenth time I don't have my money. Well, it's really the fourteenth here at night. And no one's really here, so you're not going to get your money yet. Right. Um, so there's a lot of those tickets. So I would say, like, on the 15th or, like, the 14th, I probably end up dealing with, like, maybe 150, 200 people easily that day. So that's kind of like your busy day of the month. Yeah, that's, the- that's like my busy day of the month. Yeah, like payday, basically. Gotcha. Co, gotcha. if you have any questions, feel free to, to jump in here. I'll just keep kind of barraging uh, Hassan with questions. In terms of uh, other – is it only, like, responding to these these partner emails or – what else do you do at kind of a Twitch on a day-to-day basis as well? Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, I mean, anything that, like, I basically have everything opened up to anybody, like, on my Twitter, on Steam, on anything where I'm reachable. Any kind of social media, if anybody has any kind of, you know, separate questions or if a partner has other questions that they want to deal with or that they can't ask in an email form, they hit me up there. Like, you do that. I know that, you know, a lot of other people as well. And I'm happy to help there as well. It's not like a not a problem for me i'm reachable in multiple ways yeah i think i (laughs) my least favorite one was when i messaged you was it like on i think it was like a friday friday at like 1 a.m i messaged hassan on twitter saying like hey my friend really needs some help right now something's going on and you're like well she are they being hacked and i'm like no man they just need their emotes approved like scared the crap out of me bro (laughs) (laughs) that's happened before it's like literally i'm like the on-call person for partners It's, it's silly like 
Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you work weekends, Hassan? Yeah, dude, I work every day. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll never forget the night when I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and and pop this uh, emote request in on, you know, Sunday at 9 p.m. And I'm sure, you know, maybe by Monday it'll be fine. Like three minutes later, it was like, okay, emotes change to song. And I was just like, it's 9 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's something I like to stick by. I like to make sure our partners get taken care of as fast as I can take care of them. So. Well, I, I, I do, I have a complaint. Hassan, sure. about about your reaction to oh uh, man to a complaint that I had. Now I had a legitimate complaint. <laughs> there was another uh, uh, Twitch a- uh, admin employee. I don't know what she goes by these days, but with, she shall remain nameless. But she made cry, and I sent <laughs> you a message, and you did not do anything about it. And I want to know why. Why didn't I you, you I sent you the greatest reply with a picture because I figured out that our ticketing system can actually, you can attach pictures in the reply, and I sent you the best picture reply ever. He did. He <laughs> sent me a reply that's, that was David Tennant going, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was a gif of him going, what? Uh, also, what, what is, uh, we'll get your, your face up in chat. What is the actual emotes you do have? Uh, uh, it's capital H, it's like Hassan, capital H, and then CHOP, capital C. But he also has one on another channel, don't you? Yeah, I have I have a what? couple actually. It's really weird. I don't know what this uh, fascination is with my face, but um, Summit One G has a two different emotes of my face, um, one with a mustache and one a rainbow face. I have no clue why. And then Whitwix also has an animated one of me as like a cop holding like a baton, like a stick. Yeah. <laughs> I do not know why, but. I mean, I was like, sure, I guess you can do that if you want oh, to. Oh, yeah, there, there's the, the one with the baton. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And Shannon just posted the one with the... With, the, uh, with Summit, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> how right. long have you been working for Twitch? Yeah, like, how, uh, exactly. How'd you get started so out as well? My roots started as a Twitch admin, like, years ago. I think it's probably like three years ago, two, two and a half years ago, three years ago, something like that. And then Jason, my now manager, um, I went to, like, a... Uh, New York Comic Con, and we started talking, and that is essentially how I ended up where I am now. So I actually owe a lot to, to him as a manager and like a mentor. So he's a good guy. And you've been at, uh, at Twitch how long? Uh, about like a year. Yeah, my year uh, just passed in uh, April 14th. So. Um, I, I guess in terms of people that are maybe not looking to stream, but are looking to like work at Twitch proper. Like what, what would you suggest to them as to be the right path or the right path to set themselves upon? Uh, well, I myself only have a business degree. I mean, it's just like a business development degree, just a business administration in international business. Um, and this wasn't really something that I was like, yeah, you know, I can do this. I was just like, okay, I'll get my start in customer service, which I did, and then move out to another area where I feel like, you know, I can grow as a person in the company. Um, but to anybody else that wants to really get their start, you should start networking with other people because I don't think there's anybody here that currently works in like our partnerships or customer service that doesn't know someone else at our company or that doesn't have any sort of awareness of what our site is and what our users are. Because I don't think we're going to, we're, we're not in the business of hiring somebody to teach them how to, you know, how to use Twitch. It's true. That makes a good point. Um, when there's so many people out there that do that, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. 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 I've seen a lot of uh, like recent hires, and I guess maybe these are just the the public ones because you've been hiring a lot of partner, uh, I guess on the partnerships team from like yeah. selective communities. I guess is maybe the best right. way I've say, seen yeah. it. Um, is that like a big focus for you guys to like have a go to guy for kind of like uh, most recently? I think Jimmy uh, Jimmy Wisenhunt um, yeah. used to work on H one Z one. He's kind of like the survival horror game guy. Like what is. What is his actual uh, I thing? Don't, I don't actually know. I just recently found out that Jimmy was uh, was leaving and yeah. uh, just got a job here. I don't actually know what his title or what he's going to be doing, but I can almost guarantee you that it will be something with esports because okay. we have a really big focus here on that. But in terms of like hiring people for knit communities, yeah, like we we just recently hired like uh, some Counter Strike guys. We have a, a you know a Hearthstone guy now. And any any big community where we see like potential for growth, we'll end up getting somebody for that community to you know have. If anybody in that community has questions, they'll go there. And any questions that they have, if they can't answer them, they will find someone to answer them for them. In in terms of like an internal structure at Twitch, mm-hmm. is that kind of like one of the main hubs? Is that 
you have like a group of people for a specific community or is it one person for a community and then those people kind of all it, talk to one person like what what is the hierarchy it truly it truly depends on how big of a community it gets right like so right now uh, Counter-Strike has three people uh, and it's a it's a fairly big game that's continuing to grow uh, League of Legends is, is going to be getting its first person right now it's just Garvey that does a lot of a lot of stuff for League and he needs someone to help him out so I guess it really depends on how much workload there is and if someone feels like there's going to be like a lot of workload for their community. They obviously talk to their manager and they see about getting them another person under them to help them out. And for those people, is it a maybe you don't know this, but is it a case of like Twitch going to the community leaders and asking them like, hey, you want a job at Twitch? Or is it the other way around where they're kind of looking around and you guys offer them the job? Um, that I don't middle? know. Yeah, that I don't. That's that's mostly for like that. That's like way above my pay grade, and uh, I have no idea like how that gets decided. I just know that from talking to other employees, it just seems like when things get you know way too hard for them to you know be able to answer in a reasonable time, like twenty four hour, forty eight hour turnaround time, they end up looking for more people. Gotcha. Do you know how many people are on the partnerships team? Uh, not offhand. It's a large number, though, right? It's, it's, it's a large number. Yeah. What about like in terms of? Uh, the entire company. Do you have a, an idea of how many people Twitch employs? Oh yeah, I think we have around two hundred and twenty or so employees. Okay. We and we hire about five people every week or so, or so Jesus. it's been that case for the last month. Yeah. You guys have been growing a shit ton then. Yeah, we've been we've been growing a lot. So uh, soon we're gonna have two more floors and. Wait. It'll be good. So, is that on top of the three that you already had, or is that on top of the one that you already had? The one on top, the one that we already have. So okay, six, so we're gonna be eight and nine. Yeah. Christ, Christ, yeah, company. And then I don't, in terms of like, I don't really see that ever stopping, right? Because Twitch is only going to get bigger. You're only going to have more games and more like genres coming in. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we've uh, reached any kind of, you know, stop in growth. I think we're still steadily increasing and we have a lot more, you know, things to do. Do you, do you feel like you are ever overwhelmed by how much work you have to do or like how many, like, do you come to work and just go like, Jesus Christ, I can't, I no, 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 no. So it's, it's funny that you said that. So we had this huge issue with password reset stuff recently, which yep, I'm sure you guys yep. are And those were two very tough weeks in my life. Uh, it was very rough, but it was very rewarding that, you know, people understood what was going on and they were like, okay, you're clearly not the first website to ever, you know, have this happen to you. We'll deal with it and move on. Uh, so I was very surprised at how the community reacted in general, um, and most actually all almost all of our partners were very you know happy with the way that we handled it. And if they needed something, they would get an answer immediately, just due to me or someone else in the partnerships team that was helping during that time. Because I would have literally just quit if it was only me doing it. It wouldn't happen. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm like really really happy that I have people to fall back on. Um, and it's not just, you know, me by my lonesome ever. So if I need something, I can always ask somebody for help. It's never never the case that I'm just alone. What was that day like? I mean, because that was a pretty... It I, was, was rough. Like, it never it has rough. happened before in Twitch, right? Something of that yeah. scale? It hasn't. So it was real rough. I mean, it was just like, I got into work and I was like, okay, so this just happened. <laughs> um, let's see what we can do to deal with it. And I just went to work. It was just like a treated it like a normal day of work, but it clearly wasn't. And definitely left later than I ever do. So sure, yeah, I'm sure it was all hands on deck for, yeah. for something like that. Yeah, I've met Han uh, I've met Hassan a handful of times, and do do you ever like get stressed out, excited, sad, happy? You're like the most I'm, like I get excited guy, meeting people. like I've ever met. Yeah, I get I get excited meeting people because I like meeting new people. Like I like meeting just just having conversations, networking with others. That's that's where I excel. I like doing that. Um, stressed out, uh, it happens. You know, that's just part of life. Uh, I don't really show it that often, but during those two weeks, I was showing it. I think that a lot of people in our company saw that and uh, they were around to help me out. So it was good. Imagine you like the Hulk. Like, <laughs> I just get super rage. Like, like yeah, oh, like, son, just, one, like, just one, like, <laughs> like all even killed until it just like spikes, and you're just like flipping desk and like punching out like fellow like coworkers and shit. Like, oh, 
<laughs> Watch out, That's, fucking Hazan is over. That was, that was a great. That was a great analogy. That there was you a go. Great analogy. <laughs> there you go. Um, so all the partnership uh, applications come to you. Is that correct? No, not, not applications. So applications. We have one person or two people for right now. So one person full time, and then another person that's like kind of half on it, and then half being you know used utilized for other projects on our team. Okay. Um, so Nick is the one that's in charge of doing all the partnership apps, and he's going to get someone soon to help him out with that because that queue does get pretty big sometimes. Yeah. And need some help because you know we actually do try our best to. Um, if someone gets denied, it's like a generic denial, um, and it says on the bottom, you know, if you feel that you were denied wrongly, you know, reply back. And he does his best to, you know, reply in a timely manner. So in like within three day turnaround time, he has a, a good reply to them, you know, saying, you know, this is what you need to improve on, or this is what you need to do to, you know. Get a partnership essentially. Yeah. Take us, take us through that. Take us through a partnership program. So I have just applied for partnership. What happens? Uh, so if you've used an email that is an AOL AIM or Yahoo email, we never received your application. So that's step one. Really? Say that again. Say that again. Whoa. So an AOL. It, yeah, an AOL AIM or Yahoo email. We didn't <sighs> receive application. It's just there's something up with our email box that just does not like those three email addresses. I don't know why. Oh wow! Uh, it's like denies. Those oh my god! There, that's probably a pretty big, especially Yahoo. <laughs> yeah. Is that like anywhere on the site, or probably not, right? It's gonna be. So we're redoing our uh, our like pages, our app pages, and our uh, just documentation in general. That's what the other person does in his spare time, and half the time is used on updating that. So it'll be on that. Hmm. But if anybody so, like, you'd be surprised at how many times that that doesn't come up. In terms of like, hey, you know, if someone has applied and they're like, hey, I applied. So they send like a normal email and we get that. And uh, we're like, hey, did you use AOL or AIM or Yahoo? And they're like, um, yeah, I did. I was like, okay, can you resend the application that you sent? And they're like, okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's essentially what happens when, when that was the case. Like no one's like overly, hey, uh, people still use like AOL emails. I'm always really surprised. I'm like, uh, I didn't know. That was I think AOL is still got a pretty big chunk of it, don't My they? My mom still uses AOL. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. Like, anybody over 45 probably still <laughs> uses AOL. That's probably true. It's probably true. No partnership from my mom. So, uh, uh, email comes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, email comes in. Someone writes an email. It goes into our specialized partner application box. Uh, every, every day, Nick looks at that box and probably clears it out for the most part and sends replies out. So, he looks at, um, he looks at actual content. So, let's say if you don't have your VODs enabled, he can't review your content. So there's absolutely no way for him to know if your channel's good or channel's bad because he doesn't specifically just go for um, content just ba based off numbers. That's not how it works. Um, so there has to be good content there. Like you can have 300 viewers and have really terrible content, you're not getting a partnership. It's not going to work. What's good so, content? Um, just interacting with your chat. You know, uh, he has like other metrics. Like it would be great for him to be on here actually to explain all this. Yeah, stuff no, I that. think Nick would definitely yeah, be a cool future episode. Yeah, yeah sorry. I'll ask him. I'm sure he'd be down for it because he did yeah. uh, our. Um, he did the panel. Yeah, he did the panel. Twitch Town Hall. He didn't, yeah, was that he didn't really have that much time to. Yeah, at East. He didn't really have that much time to like go in depth, but I'm sure he would love to come on here and like go. And I apologize him. for asking a question that's not no, it's all good. specifically in your wheelhouse. Yeah, I know. It's all good. I mean, I can, I can answer based on, you know, what I or how I know the, the program works. So. Okay. Okay. When does it. When do you get involved with that? Yeah, like. Uh, you don't get involved at all with a partnership application at all. Right. So as soon as they're partnered and okay. they receive their, you know, if they want a sub button, they get a sub button, and then I'm involved in the process. So if they uh, message me or they email me, so anything that goes to partner help at twitch.tv is mostly answered by myself. And that's so you the are queue? the sub guy. Correct. Yeah. So as soon as as soon as anybody okay. gets partnered, that's when that's when I kick in. Gotcha. Okay. So, so when people apply for a subscription button. You're yeah. the that goes to. No, the subscription button is handled by the same person that. So Nick processes the applications. Once the application is approved, Tyler, the person you hung out with at yeah. uh, C2E2, yeah. he's the one that looks at the app, uh, sends them their, their forms, their, their paperwork, their contract, their tax form. All that stuff has to get done before we can actually enable a partnership. Okay. Uh, and then uh, they would come to me, basically. Okay. After all so that stuff is done and they have their partnership, that's when I would take over. Gotcha. Okay. So, Asana, I got a quick question for you. So, I'm I'm sure you get you get thousands of requests every day. I'm sure mm -hmm. a lot of the requests are probably pretty crazy, and you just have to say no to. Yeah. Um, 
Are there any interesting requests that you've not gotten a lot of but said yes to mm -hmm. that are kind of like little things that the grand, you know, the public may not know about? Like, for instance, um, just, just random off stuff here. Like, can we change how much our sub buttons cost? Can we choose different things in our chat that maybe we don't know about? Like, are there any little things you can think of that is not really well known that comes through your job? So the amount of, so, okay, so yeah, there, there are these little things. So we get uh, a bunch of different questions about, like, changing the amount your sub button is. And we used to do that. We did that as a pilot. Uh, we ran a two ninety nine subscription button. And that is currently on, I think, four people's channels in total. And it just turned out it wasn't worth it in general because of fees and, and like, just the amount of money that the caster would get. Uh, so not doing that. And then another question that comes up a lot is like turning off ads for your subs. And that's something that's still being reviewed internally. Um, that's something I'm actually pushing for. Because uh, it was like every, anybody that got a sub button before May 2013 yeah. has that option. And then anybody that got one after that does not have that option. Right. I was the month after that. I yeah. Yeah. I so, the month after that. So that's like also like another big thing that you know people want. And in the grand scheme of things, I think we can work something out there. But those are the types of things that you know I, I like to push push for, and uh, you'll be happy to know that we're working on an emote automated emote removal tool, so you no longer have to email me every single time you want to do oh that. Oh my god, so that's amazing! Faster. Uh, that I saw the mockups for that, and it looks great. Uh, it's on its way to being completed soon. TM, I'll make sure that gets done. <laughs> and that that's just for is that add and removal? No, so removal. Is easier to do add. We can't really do because you have to like do a QA check. Right? Yeah, there are people have out human there. Eyes, you have yeah. to yeah. check those. So I mean, it'd be th too easy. Yeah. Think about what would happen if just a bunch of just ASCII penises started popping up, and then right. people just start removing them immediately. Like we wouldn't know what's going on. We'd be like, okay, it's active for five minutes, and then someone just removed it. Like that would never be possible. So that part of the job is always going to be there for someone to do manually. Uh, but the automated part, which we are working on, is a removal part, which a lot of generates a lot of email traffic. So that'll drop it by a lot. Um, on the topic of emotes, like what are some of the most common issues that you know you have to deny an emote uh, besides just like being a, a penis <laughs> or okay, so, something like that? Um, so copyright concerns. We have. Uh, just a large number of like tra non-transparent backgrounds and uh, just so we have a lot of international partners and they seem to you know submit stuff in their own language and I have to get you know someone to actually tell me what that means before I can like, submit it. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, so I mean we've had we've had stuff in the past that's been like you know some curse words and stuff like that. And we don't we can't accept anything like that at all. No. Um. Is there, and maybe you can't reference it exactly, but has there been an emote that's gone live and then you've seen it and just been like, how the fuck did that get through? Yeah, there has actually a couple. I can't remember which ones exactly, but yeah, there have been a couple, and as soon as I found out about them, I've removed them. They're mostly ones that have that before my time, like that just weren't used because you know the channel went inactive or whatever happened. We just started coming back up and started using the channel again. Um, and they started using that emote that I didn't know about. Right. So I have to remove it. I assume you see, for example, the fist is an icon, or is an emote that's like on a mm -hmm. billion channels. Like, yeah. what is one? What is like the most common emote that you see? And two, what is like the most uncommon emote you see? Common is like wrecked. That's like <laughs> a, like a rip and pepperonis oh, type thing. Yeah. And uh, uncommon would be like, I don't know. I can't, everything at this point is like people are looking at other people's emotes and they're like, hey, this looks like yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Just make this into my own thing. That's generally how it works. I mean, it's just how it is. So is there any like original idea still in emotes from your uh, point of view? Like, do you ever, do you see on like a daily -day basis and you're like, damn, that's a really cool emote that's not used anywhere? Yeah. No, personally, I, like, I would have to think about that and I can't like. Can't pull it out of your head. Yeah, can't pull it out of my head. Uh, do you have a favorite emote? Um, I like Witwix's emotes, honestly. Like, all of his emotes are, like, insane. Love it. I'll have to go look at those. What about, like, uh... They're all sarcastic versions of... Yeah. Well, like, yeah. It's like, exactly. sarcastic version of Mario, Sonic, uh, Bowser, Link. That kind of shit. Yeah, I'm looking through this. How does he act... 
how to get these through copyright issues. Like what? <laughs> well, so you know what, JP, you just brought up a really interesting point. Like Hassan, what do you guys do about about a copyright emotes and yeah. B, what happens if you get emote submissions that like how? There's so many emotes that look similar, but some of them look almost identical. How do you verify an emote isn't somewhere else? Um, so we use a service right now called Can we just Google. point out that you're walking and talking uh, yes. right now? Like, can we get an office tour because, while you're here? Uh, well, you can't get an office tour, but what I can do is give you guys... Your mic sounds way better. Does it? But I'm yes. out here in the public now, sitting back at my desk. So I was in a meeting room before. And uh, someone had to use the meeting room because I only had reserved for a certain amount of time. I was under the impression that it was going to be, you know, I was going to be on there for like 30 minutes and that's it. So clearly not the case. I bet there's going to be tons of jackasses just coming up and fucking with you right now, dude. Uh, if you ever been to the Twitch office, it's like Playland. Can you do, like, can you hold your laptop up and just do a 360? <laughs> I'm going to do a 360 in the office. Uh-oh. Guys, it's the Twitch offices. <gasps> They're talking. Peek behind the curtain. No, dude, I'm not doing that. Are you, are you unplugged right now? Yeah, I'm unplugged. I'm on the All right, board. Hassan, we're going to change this interview up. Can you go show us the food area? Because I think everyone deserves <laughs> to see sure. the cafeteria sure. that Twitch currently has. Sure. Yep. Why not? Why not? And the this kegerator. This just took the best and turn. And the liquor ever. cabinet. <laughs> yeah, this just took the best <laughs> turn that it could okay. on the show. Oh. So this right here, I don't know if you guys can see, that's uh, like where our legal department sits right now. Oh, God. Well, the, the lawyers are going to see are, yeah, getting away from that real quick before yeah, just I... Run. <laughs> just run. Just real run. Real quick. <laughs> hey, look, it's DJ Week. Hi. Hey, oh, shit, it's hey. DJ Week. Hey. Oh, wait, are you live yeah, right, right now? right now. Hi, <laughs> Week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> DJ Week's so stressed. He's dealing with all his TwitchCon stuff. Yep. So he's oh. passing the elevators. That's why we're losing signal for a little bit. I think we might have just lost the song completely. Oh no! <laughs> but he'll come back because the kitchen area I think opens up. But we'll see. He's probably just like running furiously. Oh no! God damn it! I love that. I think he just dropped. <laughs> just, just speed put him. We got it. We got to get the kitchen area on there. <laughs> live stream, folks. It's live live TV. We're working on it. Uh. Professional live I've TV. Ne I've never seen uh, Witwix's emotes before. Like, how does he get? He just has like weird no, names on everything. They're enough of a difference to be a parrot. That's, yep. <clears throat> I like how he has Wit Wix one through four, and it just makes a squirtle. It, <laughs> like, that's, you've never seen. I've that? never seen that. Dude, that shit is genius. I've never. I've seen been trying that at to come all. up with with a with a block emote forever. All right, so. Oh, you back? That was terrible because we're on wire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we might have just lost you again. DJ Weed just dropped by the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did he say? Oh, he just said <laughs> that's just Twitch wireless. There you go. There you go. Uh, have you I love how these people are jumping up your fucking ass because you called uh, Blastoise Squirtle. Lay off, nerds! Oh, yeah. You want to get even more upset? Fuck Pokemon. I've never played it before. Boom. Pokemon. <laughs> Have you ever seen the site Twit? What is this? Twitchemotes.com. It has like emotes usage per day. I've never seen this before. Yeah, it's really oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a social blade for emotes. That's pretty fucking cool. Does it do By it for global? I'm actually in that boat too, man. What do you mean? Pokemon? Never, never played a well, Pokemon ever. The the issue is, how can you guys still play a game that's fucking been released 30 times and it's the same one every time? Like, what are you doing? It's the same goddamn game every release. It doesn't make any sense. It's just different enough, man. Oh, that you got to catch them all and they keep adding more to all. That's the whole draw, man. I guess. I guess. I don't know. It's don't a brilliant, know. it's the most most brilliant marketing ever is Pokemon. Sure. It's the same hey. shit over and over and over. Sure. People just eat it up. That's ridiculous. All right. Sorry about that. So, are, are, uh, 
Uh, why are we sitting at, in our office? It's uh, real garbage. So. Yeah. Well, I figured you walked by the elevators, and that's what turned it to shit. Yeah, yeah. it was wrecked. Just got straight wrecked. Okay. Uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to get someone else to show us uh, the cafeteria. I'll take I'll take like a video and actually send it to you, and you can uh, you can actually use that. Uh, gotcha. Uh, well, yeah, you're gonna have to play mute toggle because it's getting loud up there. Yeah, tell those motherfuckers shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Zig says to shut up, guys. <laughs> Everyone be quiet. Um, I, wish there, I wish there was like another conference room I can go into, but there isn't. It's all filled. We're like getting really big, so like there's like not a lot of space. Yeah, yeah. Are um, they using the Twitch? The oh, you, there's only so many places the wireless works, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, okay. Um, well, I guess I'm not really sure. We'll pull, we'll see if there's any questions from Chad. If you guys have questions for Hassan, uh, keep in mind, you know, he he works on a very specific thing at Twitch, so a lot of stuff like. How is the when is Amazon gonna be on Twitter? He doesn't. He doesn't know that, guys. I'll just answer that Correct. for him. I do not know. Uh, has, has, <laughs> here's a question about Amazon. Has it influenced uh, your work day to day at all? Is it is no? It actually, they've they've kept out of all of our stuff. They have not said anything to us at all about so, you know. What would happen if I wanted to submit like the Amazon A? Would it just be immediately declined? Yeah, it would be declined because Fuck. you would have to get permission from someone at Amazon before you can use their logo or branding. Okay, but you work at Amazon by kind of. Yeah, but I don't have access to their legal department or their Shit. branding. And You're smart. You're smart. Uh, are there any questions? Someone has just asked the same question I just did. I got, I got one quick question. Now, this, this is related to partner stuff, so Asan, if you don't know, don't worry about it at all. But just a random question. I've Over the last uh, six months, it has become very clear that the um either either one of two things is happening either the the requirements for partner and sub is dropping or twitch is being more active in finding smaller streamers and attempting to bring them up on twitch's behalf instead of their own behalf that being said um i just checked earlier in the broadcast it does look like your requirements still say for partnership 500 average viewers um where I mean, I, I'm seeing people get partner these days that average less yeah, than a hundred. Absolutely not true. Um, yeah. So is there like, what, what is, what is the thinking behind that dichotomy? Are you trying to discourage people? Have they just not been updated for a while? If you don't know, no problem. I'm just wondering because a lot of times, you know, they'll, uh, someone will come to me and be like, Hey, I'm averaging 200 viewers. Should I apply to partner? It says 500 on there. And these days I just go, no, dude, if you're averaging 150, you know, sell yourself to them because there's a good chance you'll get in. So what's what's kind of the official response on that, if you know? Um, so we have, that page hasn't been updated in a while, and it's a combination of two things. So A, that page is going to be updated sometime soon, uh, and B, we are working with people. We actually have someone named Brad Pluto. I don't know if you know him. He worked in the League of Legends community for a while and worked at EA. Uh, he's going to be working with new, newer partners to actually bring them up. So the ones that are, the ones that we have that have like less than, you know, 100, 150 yeah. viewers that get partnered that we see have interesting content. He works with them directly to see what he can do to get them higher in viewership. Okay. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Um, a lot of people are asking, you guys have a European office, right? Yes, we do. It's in London. They're actually moving into a new office, a bigger one, so they can support more employees there. Uh, we have job breaks up on twitch.tv slash p slash jobs. There you go. How many people do you guys currently have, do you know, in the in the London office or in the European office? Ooh, I think there's around uh, 10 plus or minus a couple. Oh, so it's still fairly small. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty small. Yeah, it's a pretty small office. Okay. And then any other offices worldwide besides Europe and San Fran? Uh, no, those are it. Those are the two offices. That, well, actually, we have New York, but that's mostly for, like, sales folks. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, people keep asking to for you to continue your about copyright uh, yeah. emotes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That got but, cut uh, off because we got interested. Yeah, in sorry. Food. Yeah, you guys got interested in food. <laughs> <laughs> um, where was I? What do you want me to talk about? Uh, Cole, that was your question. So you yeah. were just talking about, like, what is... The, in terms of copyright for emotes. Well, like Witwix yeah. is, like, so, is, is Mirio in his uh, uh, Sanic. Yeah, so yeah. the, the images the images don't look, they, they don't look exactly alike. So they're like sort of like caricatures. And that's perfectly fine. That's like, that's considered fair use. So that would be okay to use. Something like that. So, so whenever someone submits like a Mario icon or like a Yoshi or Yoshi egg or something like that, because, you know, there's a bunch of partners out there that like Nintendo stuff. Uh, they go crazy for Nintendo stuff. Um, I always tell them, you know, go look at what Wix's emotes and get an idea of, you know, what would be allowed and what wouldn't be allowed. 
There you go. So, well, just on on that note, and mm -hmm. again, I'm I'm not a Pokemon master here, but like the four the four block emote, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. is is that not a screenshot from Pokemon? Four is that a drawing? What Julia? The, the, I know Witwix has like the the four block, you know, <laughs> where put them all together and it forms the picture of the Pokemon. I think Julia drew that. Oh, she did. Oh, Julia drew that. Okay, never mind. So. Never mind. Have I'm you seen that, Hassan? Can, can we get a remote removed live right now on air? No, I haven't. I don't know. No, 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 no. No, it's already in. <laughs> clearly, it's clearly one, it's okay. You're talking about the one, two, three, and four? That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wix one through four. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I've seen that. So he asked me if that would be okay, and uh, I asked, and I heard a yes, and then a, well, if someone, you know, says no from Nintendo, then we would have to take it down. But no, yeah, for, people, people are saying straight up it's a drawing. I thought yeah, it was a screenshot. No, I was it's Pokemon. It's a, that's no, that's, that's definitely a drawing. That's 100% a drawing. Like, all this stuff is draw, drawn. Like, it's, it, none of it is, like, screenshots from somewhere. Because he was, he was always very, like, he always used to send me emails. I remember this. And he would be like, hey, can I use this or that? And eventually I was like, no, you can't use this. You can't use that. He was like, okay, well, what, about, what if I do this? And I was like, okay, that looks okay. You can do that. So kind of like got an idea of, like, what he could do and what he couldn't do based on, you know, just conversations I've had with him. I think so, it's, well, go ahead. Go ahead, Zeke. I'm just going to change topics. If you got something on this one, go ahead. Uh, no, no, I'm good. I was going to say something right. stupid. What sh what emails should people stop fucking sending you, Hassan? What emails? I mean, they can send me whatever they want. No, it's no, like, what, like that you that you're like, like. Okay, so the one big thing that we have is like, okay, can I have a name change? That's like, no, you can't have a name change. Do you have a reason for a name change? No, you, you don't have a reason for a name change. Like, you, don't, you don't need a name change. It causes a lot of problems with our website. Cause a lot of statistic issues, cause ad revenue stuff. It's just a big issue. It's not needed. Just stick with what you got. If you, you know, want to pick a new name, just start a new channel. It's tough to do, but people have actually done that. Well, here's um, also your chance to answer, uh, like repetitive emails that you get all the time. Like, give a like a. Do you have any of those like that you want to just wish you could just give a blanket answer for to the masses? Like, yes, you can do this or whatever. No, there, I don't really get any kind of like mass emails like that. There, where I would be like, I'm not going to give someone like a personal answer to it. I don't. I don't. It just. It just hasn't. It hasn't ramped up that big yet. Where where I would have to do that. So if, ever, if it ever does become that, you know, I'll come back on here and be like, Hey, Z told me I can say this. And it's <laughs> uh, uh, so are you the guy that handles like if I have someone who I, I had someone who came into my channel and did something. Uh, in chat that was just reprehensible and awful and I would I would dub this person a bad human being for doing this in my chat you're the guy who deals with that like if I if I request a ban IP ban as as big a ban as you can handle that wouldn't be me but it, that would depend on our moderation team so we have a large moderation team that's handled by Ryan Kennedy he's, okay. he's our specific moderation guy we hired him for that reason so he has a, he has all of our admins under him and he takes care of our rules of conduct and you know works with our legal department to update our terms of service um, and if someone is doing something wrong and you just consider them to be a terrible human being and it's actually against our terms of service you would want to report that person by using the cogwheel on their channel page and within a very reasonable time you know as long as you include all the information or what they did or what they said uh, if a determination can be made that it was against our terms of service that person's account would be you know closed okay okay and as as always, like with a with an account closure, it comes with an IP ban, so that would automatically become. Is that is that standard now on account closures that yeah, it is an standard. IP? So, so our our uh, suspension system is uh, twenty four hours, th three strikes. We're on a three strike system, so twenty four hours for the first one, twenty four hours for the second one, and the third one is a permanent ban. But obviously, there's like you know reasons if someone's posting someone's you know. IP address, or if they're posting their personal information, their address, et cetera, et cetera, that person would get an immediate permanent ban. So small things like, okay, yeah, you're like going into other people's like channels, creating like a bunch of usernames and spamming the word like hi over and over again. That's, that's you know, generically against our terms of service and we would give that person a 24-hour ban. If they do it again, they get another 24-hour ban. And the last time, we do not appeal their ban and it's permanent ban from our site. There you go. So, okay, uh, uh, how do you guys deal with, okay, it's, partner help is you. Yeah. Uh, See, it's, it's weird because I used to be a jack of all trades. I used to handle general support, I used to handle partner help, and I used to do suspension appeals when I first got here. So I kind of know, like, 
I know of like answers to questions in a lot of different areas. Okay. Okay. Um, and here come the highs. Yeah. <laughs> of course. You're all banned. You're all Get blocked. out of here. <laughs> Should have not said that. Should've this was a test. <laughs> Yeah, so the tests are all banned. I can get a list. They're all done. <laughs> Stop spamming. Yeah, exactly. Um, how do you deal? Like, <coughs> I've seen like some like awful, horrible mm -hmm. like screen, screen names. Mm -hmm. Like, how does how does that get filtered? Like, so if you see an awful screen name that you think is really terrible, report their username and their channel is suspended if it's really bad. So right now we don't really have a large we don't have a large filter system. We have that's something we can actually work better on. So uh, right now anybody can really register whatever username they want with very specific exceptions. Uh, so we have a banned word list which doesn't really work that well at this time, uh, which is something we're going to work on, you know, making better. Uh, so I know usernames you know that are in different languages, usernames that could be hurtful in some way, and you know even in English to spell differently get through sometimes. But if they do. Uh, you know, just have to report them, and as soon as they're reported, they're suspended. Now, like, so there's no no outright bans. No, for for something like that, that would be like a permanent suspension. But they, if they write in, we're gonna be like, hey, you made this username. You can't make a username like this. It's wrong, and we'll give you this one-time courtesy of you know unsuspending your IP. Okay. There you go. Uh, well, I think we're kind of running out of questions. I. I want to run this number by you. You can tell me if it's close anywhere. Uh, using the site twitchemotes.com, they have mm -hmm. 28,481 emotes on there. Is that Correct. about right to the... That's exactly right, because uh, that site is run by our um, uh, global moderator, uh, George, who basically scrapes our API and gets the exact amount of emotes that we have on our site. I think so that number is exactly correct. That's... Zico, does that seem low to you? Twenty-eight thousand emotes. I mean, I guess when you think about it, that right. that seems a lot, to be honest. I mean, you have to remember, there's a lot of channels that only have like you know six. Yeah. Yeah, and so, there's also there's also you know, that, there's also yeah there's also you know a certain set of people that have like fifty emotes that should be around fifty emotes <laughs> that are capped at twenty-five, which I'm working to you know get raised. Um, so yeah. Yeah, actually, Hassan, quick question. Um, what what was with the recent cap? What what was the logic behind that? Was it that you didn't want enough emotes? Were there hardware restrictions? Like that was no, really weird because I got I got thirty and then I was basically told like you got your thirty emotes like right at the end. If we would have talked about this two weeks ago, and I wouldn't have been able to do this, I, and I was kind of like, like what, so what was right the thing? Now there's a hard cap. We we raised the cap based on. Uh, based on you know a couple different factors, uh, mostly based on like a curve. So right now, we have the the cap is at I think two thousand, and you get twenty five. Um, so I'm working with our product team and our partnerships team to sort of get that raised to like a maximum of like forty, thirty five, forty, something like that, in like the four or five k range. So we kind of just want to we want to keep increasing it, but we don't want to make it so it just one channel has like a crap it gets load. out of control. Yeah, it's, it, it does at, at some point it will get out of control. Yeah. So we have to kind of like we have to kind of see where the curve is heading and where a good limit would be to cap everybody. I, at that. Co aside from the uh, draw of having a lot of emotes on your channel like for me personally I have a hard time actually making a real like realizing an emote that would be useful for the channel to use. Like if you had 50 emote slots <laughs> Would you actually be able to do right now all of those without them being like inside jokes that are never used? You're talking to a guy who's already removed what Hassan like 15 emotes and switched out 20 others. Yeah, he's it's there's been a lot, but it's like it's fine. It's like it's Ben, dude. I can't can't say no to Ben. It's like, and our, uh, well, I appreciate that. The, the good the the short answer is JP. There are some streamers that could easily fill up as many slots as there were available. Yeah, it's true. It's true. True. That's why I don't like I, I I so I have open emote slots. I have like I think I have like eight uh, open emote slots that I'm not using because I have whatever I have now and the people only use like four of them. Yeah. You know, the the rest of them they barely ever use, you know, and they're just they seem like they seem like they're going to waste. So like having that many emotes I mean it, I don't. I don't it see just, that. It just looks cool. It's a, like a nice number to have, you know. Yeah, and I think that's a lot of the. At least it used to be like, 
Oh, this guy has 30 emotes. Like that that's a worthwhile that's, sub, that's right? This guy, yeah, that's five that's that's worth that that $5 is worth more than this other streamer who has like 20 emotes, right? So I don't see it. You know what I like, well, I like well, some people it, might, but yeah. yeah. When everybody had the same amount of emotes, so you really had to get quality, quality. like you yeah. had to have your yeah. quality emotes. Like that one sucks, I'm taking it out and putting a better one in, and then you had it streamlined, you know? I like I like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm alone. Well, on another that. big thing these days is people want their themed sets. Yeah. So like I was I was really excited because like months ago I came up with the little high emote with the high in the hand and I was like, Yeah, no one's done this yet. And these days it's all over the place. But at the same time, just like people did that with my emote, I was looking at lyric and I was going, Okay, well I want a wrecked emote and we need a GG emote and you know, we need you know, like everyone wants their own GG's wrecked highs rips you know like there's like a set yeah. almost it, it kind of makes me think like it'd be kind of interesting if twitch had you know a set of emotes that everyone got to make their own theme so like everyone could make a high a welcome emote everyone could make a wrecked emote everyone could make a fail emote and then they'd have like a few emotes that were kind of like flavor specific to their channel and then twitch could like monthly unveil a new category of emote that streamers would be getting or maybe there's cool. a flavor of the category month where you can only use an emote. You know, like, they can do all sorts of fun things. Like Halloween-themed emote or something like that. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Stuff. But it's kind of crazy because there are two distinct types of emotes on Twitch. There are ones that are very popular but themed to a channel, and then there are either inside jokes or new emotes that aren't broad. Yeah. And almost every emote falls into, like, those two very broad categories. So it would be kind of interesting if, like, you know, I mean, so many people want an emote that welcomes people to the channel. Everyone wants an emote that everyone can spam with a sub does or a when they leave the channel you know or hey the streamer did something good emote you know it's like that kind of stuff it's true well you get a lot of like a lot of the chat like clamoring for it they're like oh my god that was so great we need a blank emote yeah no that happens we need a lot this. oh my god you need a blank <laughs> <laughs> yeah it happens a lot it happens a lot see zeke you make fun of that i love when that happens I love yeah, it. Yeah, because you go like and make the, entire... the emote. That's why you've changed out 15 of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not that there's fine. anything wrong with that. Like, I'm just saying. Hassan, getting back to you. <laughs> uh, I've seen a, a bunch of people bring up animated emotes. Is that ever a thing? Oh, yeah. okay. So that's a big want. And right now, our chat can't really handle that that well um, on a, like, a larger scale. But it is something we're going to look into. That'll, sure. be, that'll be the next evolution. Like Guess imagine so. just imagine the uh, the the white of uh, like the chat white, and then it does the like wipe away gif where someone shows up or something <laughs> like that. Like that's gonna be the first big gif mode, one hundred percent. Or the one where like a spider shows up in the chat. Like you've seen that shit on. Uh, I think it's like maybe it's Google on YouTube, where it's just the normal YouTube icon, but there's a spider yeah. on it, so it'll freak people out. Huh. Gonna happen. There's, some def there's definitely some interesting ideas out there, and I'm, I mean, we're definitely gonna be looking into all of it. I know that there's like there's a bunch of bunch of stuff that we have to do to, to make things even better. So definitely on my mind. Cool. cool. So uh, I had a question. Uh, as far as like letters on emotes or mm -hmm. words and stuff, are yeah. there like what was the deal? Because I heard there was like a restriction as far as like you can't have letters. You can't have yeah. So before, like yeah, a while ago it was banned. So when I got in, when I first took over, I was like, why is this? You know, why is this a thing? So we kind of found out that it was just like someone on our product team didn't really like it that much, and I kind of had a conversation with him, and he was like, okay, we can allow it. It was just that simple. It was like a simple. It was just like an exchange of. Having someone think that it was going to be used in a wrong way, well, I was like, how is it going to be used in a wrong way if it's being looked at, you know, by a human being? If someone's reviewing them, then it can't really be used in a wrong way. Um, and if, if something is being used in a wrong way, we can remove it. It's not, you know, it's not, a, it's not the end of the world. So uh, after talking to, you know, a bunch of people and finally got approval for doing it, and I think we're in a much better place because of it. Okay, so it was it, like the yeah, it was restricted, and uh, now it's allowed. Yeah, you can you can put you know letters and stuff on your on your emotes if you want. Okay, yeah, it's I just tough. recently made a, a welcome emote. It actually yeah. says welcome across yeah. the bottom. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. 
That's cool. <laughs> uh, I think we're kind of winding down. Uh, Hassan, thanks so much for coming on, by the way. No problem. Super Anytime. last minute uh, request, so you jumped on right away. Sorry about the, uh, you know, the loudness in, in general. If this happens in the future, I'll make sure that, you know, hop to another floor or something like that. No, no, no problem, no problem. Um, you have a machine uh, gun typist behind you. <laughs> yeah, who is that typing so much? Who can we... That's, uh, that's, that's, who's that? Oh, that's, that's, that's Brandon, Brandon K. Not behind me, he's in front of me, to the right. Okay. Take him off a mechanical keyboard for fuck's sake. Yeah, get him a fucking <laughs> non mechanical keyboard he needs, for Christmas. No, he needs a stealth. Tell him to get a Razor Black Widow stealth. There Still mechanical, go. but you can barely hear it. It's great. He has, a, he has a DOS right now. I don't think he wants to do that. DOS keyboards are really good. I don't know. If you haven't tried them, you should try them. They're quite loud, though, as you they are, can they're attest. They're quite loud. Yeah, that's true. Uh, do you have any uh, shout outs? Well, yeah. you got one last question, Zeke? Yeah, I, I just have one last question. Um, uh, as far as what you're res what you are responsible for, um, as like taking care of, uh, can you just I just want a brief synopsis of what you take care of, so everyone who is late or whatever knows exactly what you do in like short form. Okay, so I essentially take care of all partnership requests that have anything to do with emotes, removal, additions, team pages, payment questions, concerns, problems. Uh, oh, team pages too, okay. Yeah, team pages as well. And I have also recently taken over Teespring stuff, so uh, if a partner, you know, has meets our minimum requirements of like 50, you know, minimum subscribers, they can, you know, just email us and we'll enable Teespring campaign for them. Uh, and on top of that, I also do the Teespring reporting every, every month, which is a hassle. But you know, we get we get through that. So we make sure we get you know our partners get paid the right amount and everything is all hunky dory. Is that a new thing, by the way? Uh, Fifty subs and you can get a Teespring. Oh uh, no, it was always like that. It was sort of like semi handled on a week to week basis. But now I'm just kind of doing it like immediately as soon as I see something, I pull a list, and if I see someone over fifty, I just give it to them. Awesome. Yeah. Well, there you go. I think you'll see a lot more shirts pop up just because you said yeah. that on a show. <laughs> uh, well, Hassan, any shout outs you want to do? Anything you want to uh, say before we? Uh, just to you guys for having me on. Thank you very much. And, you know, all my Twitch family, all staff members, all, all of our wonderful global moderators and admins, and everybody in your chat right now, which is, they're, they're doing great, spamming all sorts of things. <laughs> uh, so I really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you for having cool. me. Thanks for coming on. Don't leave the call just yet, because you'll Probably. fuck up everything on Xplit, and I'll be I really won't. upset. I will Just meet yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it'll be a cool thing that, that Hassan's kind of started something like maybe every once in a while we'll just check in with someone at Twitch where they kind of do a different job. Uh, like I think getting uh, Nick on would be awesome for people to guy? get that, yeah, like how to get partnered. Oh like, my God. Yes. That'd be awesome. Cause uh, he, he did that at the PAX East. We were talking about that earlier, the PAX East town hall. And I know a lot of people had questions for him and he had like maybe five minutes to do cause the, you just don't have much time at right. those things. Yeah. Um, so I think this is the start of something new on Drop Frames, and that's awesome. But we got to do some shout outs. Uh, Co, you want to start us off? Sure. Uh, well, I'm Co Carnage. You are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the show today. As always, a big thank you to Zeke and JP, my co hosts, and a huge thank you to Hassan. This has uh, been a really fun show. Um, it's very cool of Twitch and Hassan to uh, jump on here on a fish capacity. Just been absolutely fantastic. Uh, as for the channel, uh, this week you're going to see probably the elf. Non-human side of Witcher 2, the Yorvith Path. Uh, we're going to probably check out the new Wolfenstein. This Friday, we're doing the Bearder Bus St. Jude Challenge. Uh, we're going to be raising money for St. Jude all day on Friday. Also, subs. We're going to be releasing a new T-shirt. portion of that's going to St. Jude as well. If we hit 15,000, this turns into a goatee. If we hit 30,000, the beard is gone. So please don't show up. Uh, I don't want any of your money. Don't donate. And uh, pick something else to do on Friday besides Twitch. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the show, and as always, thanks to my uh, co-host and Hassan. And how long is that broadcast? Which one? The, the Friday one? On Friday, yeah. Uh, Friday, it's going to be at least uh, 12 hours, probably. And uh, the St. Lute thing is already, uh, the St. Uh, St. Jude link is already up. People have been donating. We're already up to like a thousand plus dollars, <laughs> okay. crazily. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty wild. Do you think you're going to hit like the, the it's 30,000 for a full beard? 30,000 for a full shave. And I, I set that goal because I thought it was crazy. 30,000 uh, just, just it, and actually, I didn't even set it. People, the, the community came up with the goals and I was like, okay, well, well, sure. You know, like as a joke. And then people kind of rode with it. And the goal is by Friday, end of the stream on by Friday. Friday. Okay, end of stream, yeah. So again, so you can is, donate now. 
You can donate right now if you're not going to be there. But yeah, people can swing by Friday too. Okay. And that's just to you, not the team. That's just to me. That's cool. correct. Okay. That's correct. Sure. And, and again, it's uh, all subs that day. I'm going to be donating $5 per sub that day. Uh, and also all the ad revenue. And we're going to have a shirt for sale, a brand new shirt. And um, a portion of that, probably 40% of the shirt's proceeds, are going to go directly to St. Jude as well. Does that count to the 30000 Does that count? Yes. It will all count towards the 30000 Okay. You got there it. There you go. I, I think you're going to hit 30 k without all of that, to be honest. I really yeah. do. People go fucking crazy with the, the tips when it when it comes for charity. Like, it'll be crazy. Uh, Diction got like 6000 and he did a two-hour broadcast. Yeah, you're doing a 12 hour say, broadcast. <laughs> You'll have no problem there. There um, there's a lot of great causes out there. A lot of phenomenal causes. I got to say uh, St. Jude is one of the best I've found. It's a phenomenal organization. And uh, if you have extra money, if you're totally set, if your friends are set and you have some extra cash. It's a great cause to throw to through me or any of the other streamers doing St. Jude Play Live. Zeke is actually on our team. He's doing Play Live as well. He's got a huge thing coming up. And I mean, there's lots of people doing great stuff. So if you don't hit me on Friday, look around, look for hashtag Play Live. It's a, it's a great cause. Yeah, I, saw, I saw you guys on a commercial on Twitch. That was kind of cute. Um, <laughs> I was, saw that as well. Was, it was pretty good. You're, you're not on there, Carl? I thought you were in there. I was sick. I got yeah, sick. He, and the last thing you want to do when you're sick is go visit kids with cancer. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I wasn't shit. able to go, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I did. I, I saw Zeke's stupid head there. So my stupid head was all over that place. That's true. Uh, <gasps> Zeke wants you to do some shout outs. Absolutely. My name is Ezekiel the Third. Ezekiel underscore I I I. The same on YouTube, on Twitch, and on Twitter. If you want to follow me there, uh, my broadcast mostly every day except Fridays. Um, speaking of St. Jude stuff, we got a lot of awesome shit. We're I'm doing the St. Jude Zeke Week, which is starting the 13th, going all the way to the 20th, which is my birthday. That is when it's going to be ending. So 13th through the 20th, that is when I'm going to hit it hard for an entire week. And during that week, there will be donation incentives every single day, uh, like uh, competition, donation competitions, like incentives. Uh, let's uh, um, like just for an example, day one will be uh, there will be uh, some choices of co uh, other broadcasters that you would like me to do a, uh, an entire cast while cosplaying like man versus game is a choice. Uh, Co Carnage is a choice. Law Renee is a choice. Spamfish is a choice. If you guys want to do that, um, one awesome. of them will be. Um, uh, uh, I I will. Uh, one is cut hair or versus don't cut hair. We're gonna add a little more incentive for don't cut hair because I think everybody wants to see me shave my head. But uh, we'll add something else in that to make it equally as good. But for twenty five hundred dollars, this is in toto for the entire week. Twenty five hundred dollars. I wear an ice diaper until it melts. For five thousand dollars, I'll eat a ghost pepper. $7,500, if we reach that, I'll go back to fucking playing Boshi. Uh, $10,000, $10, I'll get a piercing decided by poll. Whatever piercing, you know, you guys decide. Uh, $15,000, Zeke Mom will be on the, on a broadcast. $20,000, I will wax my entire chest on film and upload it to YouTube. Um, $25,000, I will uh, either go bungee jumping or skydiving, whichever one. And I'm, I am scared to shit. Are you heights? Terrified. Absolutely scared shitless fights. Um, if we get to thirty thousand dollars, I will get a Saint Jude tattoo. And if we get all the way to fifty, which is the loftiest goal, and it's the one I don't want to do the most, if we get to fifty thousand dollars for the entire week, I will quit smoking. Well, that's pretty good. Hit Holy 50K, shit, Z. Yeah, that's amazing. <clears throat> yeah, hit fifty k. Also, uh, are you putting restrictions on to where the piercing is? Uh, I'd rather it be something visible. Will will a Prince Albert that, be on I mean, selection? Yeah, that's. I guess that was the something. More how about question. this? Something that I can show without violating TOS. Nipples? Do nipples count? Nipples? Do you can't show nipples? You can't show nipples on Twitch. What no, about man. nipple singular? Still can't do it. Damn it, Hassan! Can we get a waiver for this, maybe? <laughs> no, you can't. What the? Damn it! <laughs> what waiver? Looks like he's gonna have a pier uh, pierced tongue then. Tongue will be good. Tongue? Well, tongue, nose. Uh, I think about the week. Um, septum. I'd rather not do the septum, but but I feel like the tongue would be the most. Tongue would fuck up my whole yeah God, streaming well, shit. Your, but your tongue it. would get I'll... swollen as shit, and you'd be as a rough someone time. who has had their tongue pierced. It's it's the day the time that I did talk about, and every time they, 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 hey everybody, hey, welcome to the Dicky All Trade. Might might be a good incentive then. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, well, cool. I'll do some quick shout outs tonight. We got Roleplay Swan Song. That's at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. 
Uh, I might be checking out Black Desert. We'll see. I think Diction wanted to do that. Good um, luck. Yeah, I've already I've already got it all downloaded. So I think all I have to do now is patch it with the English patch, and then we're good to go. Uh, tomorrow night we got a premiere of Roleplay R and D, which will have Jesse Cox, Will Crindor, Shannon Z Killer, uh, Margaret Crone, and Steven as they're going to be jumping into a brand new. Uh, indie RPG, which we haven't revealed yet, so we'll be doing that tomorrow night. And then Friday will probably just be more normal stream. Probably more Black Desert if I can get it working. Uh, and then Sunday, Miko and Zeke, I should be there unless my voice continues to deteriorate. Uh, we're going to be doing the Extra Life. Um, it, what, what is the official name of that? Battle Royale for Extra Life charity thing? Uh, here it goes. Play games, heal kids, play our knowns, Battle Royale, Extra Life, round two. There you go. That's going to be, I believe, well, Sunday at uh, 3 o'clock Eastern. Should be a lot of fun. If you want to watch me make fun of Zeke and Co, because they're probably going to be terrible at Battle Royale while Lyric kills everyone. Nope. Check it I'm, out. I uh, know. Lyric is going down. You hear me? I don't know. I don't know if you watch. Just Twitch, saying. But watch Survivor I, I'm games. I'm gunning for you personally. Lyric. Watch Survivor games. You. Oh, me. Shit. <laughs> shit. That's a private challenge from Zeke to Lyric. I I am staying out of that one. It's, 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 it's like. It's. <laughs> It's like the kid who's like four years old saying, Hulk Hogan, I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. That's it. Uh, we'll be back next Wednesday. I think everyone should still be here. When are we going to do our uh, pre -e Are you going to be gone? Can you talk hold about on. that? Maybe. What talk now? Cast? What's going on? I can't talk about it yet. Okay. <laughs> Spill the beans, dude. What's going you on? can't talk about what day. I the... tried to get permission to talk about it before the show. I can't talk about it yet. Man. I'm okay. sorry. I tried. Okay. All right. Well, Co might not be here next week. Maybe we'll get. Uh... I think Tally is probably going to be like our first substitute host person. If we can, nice. Uh, if, Good if, choice. if you're going to depart next week, we'll bring in Tally. Uh, but... I should be able to let you know early next week. Sounds good. We'll have more details on that. And then. We'll do a pre E3 show, but that probably won't be till June. We'll see. A lot of stuff we got to plan out, and none of it's planned. So we'll have all that and more in the future. Thanks everyone for watching Drop Frames. Hassan, thanks again for coming on. Hopefully you enjoyed your time here. We sure I did. Thank you very having much for having me. Hassan Shah! Yeah. <laughs> thanks yeah. so much for answering all of our questions. We'll see you guys next time. We're out. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye.